Hello, my name is Jay Panetta and I have the honor of serving as the chairman of the Wakefield Veterans Advisory Board. Given the restrictions that we're under as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, we have unfortunately had to cancel all of our formal ceremonies held in honor of Memorial Day or in recognition of our fallen departed. So we deeply regret that we're unable to have the parade and the ceremonies at our local cemeteries, but we really promise to be back bigger and stronger next year. Memorial Day started as Decoration Day after the Civil War in May of 1868 as a way of remembering those who sacrificed and died in service of our nation. In keeping with the theme of Decoration Day, we would like to invite residents and businesses in town to decorate their doors, windows, and front porches as a way of commemorating Memorial Day and remembering those who have given so much in service to our nation. Memorial Day is a time for the country to remember and reflect on the men and women who have sacrificed for our country, on the principles on which the nation was founded, and on the role we have to play in protecting the freedom for future generations. We remember those who have died as a result of their service, and we remember those who continue to struggle through no fault of their own and often fall at their own hand as a direct result of their service. Whether on the battlefields of Bunker Hill, on the beaches of Normandy, in the jungles of Vietnam, or in the mountains and deserts of the Middle East, or in the global war on terror, brave Americans of every generation have given the last full measure of devotion in defense of our country, our liberty, and our founding ideals. On Memorial Day, we humbly honor these incredible patriots and firmly renew our abiding commitment to uphold the principles for which they laid down their lives. We find ourselves in turbulent times. Time and time again, our communities and neighbors have rallied to show the resilience of Americans. A nation reveals itself not only by the people it produces, but by those it remembers. We do so not just by hoisting a flag, but by lifting up our neighbors. Not just by pausing in silence, but by practicing in our own lives the ideals of opportunity and liberty and equality that they fought for. We can serve others and contribute to the causes they believed in, and above all, keep their stories alive. It seems that every crisis we face produces new heroes. We have those brave individuals who run toward danger when most of us are running away. There are those who made the ultimate sacrifice in service to our country, but we also have the brave first responders and frontline medical professionals who have always answered the call to service. This Memorial Day, as we continue to honor those who fell for us in battle, we also pause to remember those who have sacrificed their lives while serving others. May God bless our fallen and their families. May he bless all of you, and may he forever bless these United States of America. President John F. Kennedy said, what really counts is not the immediate act of courage or of valor, but those who bear the struggle day in and day out. Not the sunshine patriots, but those who are willing to stand for a long period of time. Today, we are all facing the struggle of dealing with the deadly coronavirus. It is causing tremendous suffering for many of our neighbors, especially the most vulnerable among us. But even in the midst of this very difficult time in our nation's history, we recognize how much we have to be thankful for. We recognize that the freedom and opportunity we enjoy comes from the struggle and sacrifice of previous generations. As President Woodrow Wilson said of the American flag, the lines of red are lines of blood, nobly and unselfishly shed by men who love the liberty of their fellow men more than they love their own lives and fortunes. This may be a different kind of Memorial Day than we are used to celebrating, but what is not different is the deep gratitude we feel for our nation's fallen heroes and their Gold Star families, or the gratitude we feel for the men and women serving right now in our armed forces around the world. It is thanks to them that we can sleep peacefully tonight. Good morning. I'm Congressman Seth Moulton, and I'm glad to join you to recognize Memorial Day this year. For those of us who have experienced war firsthand, this is a deeply personal day of remembrance. 
Americans celebrate this long weekend as the unofficial start of summer, while many others know it comes with painful memories of loved ones lost. On this day, Americans like us have a duty to evaluate war's true human cost. I know this Memorial Day is unlike any before, but we should still live up to that duty and reflect on the ultimate sacrifice paid by American heroes. Take the time to learn the names and stories of those heroes from your community so their sacrifices will not be forgotten. Make this Memorial Day not a passive requiem, but a call to action. As many of us are facing new uncertainty and grief, let's commit ourselves to protecting our service members and their families from the same. Let's live the values for which these great Americans sacrificed everything. Let us honor these men and women by not just enshrining their memories in our collective consciousness, but through supporting the people they left behind and upholding the principles, those great American principles of government of, for, and by the people for which they gave their lives.